Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video, I will be discussing about YAML file as well as how you can create and update any Kubernetes object using YAML. Also, I will give you some tips and thumb rule so you can easily create YAML file for Kubernetes object. YAML stands for yet another markup language. It is a plain text language that allow user to define a configuration for Kubernetes object. And you can create and update any Kubernetes object, for example, for deployment, secret, configuration map uh, using YAML file. It is a human friendly and machine readable language. YAML file is a data orientation in a form of key and value pair where each key follow by its value and you can store a various type of data such as number, string, list and even dictionary in the YAML file. YAML file are written in a plain text and use a indentation to indicate the hierarchy. This makes them more readable and understandable compared to other formats like JSON and XML. YAML files are a fundamental part of Kubernetes and that's why it is a popular choice among a developer for configuring the Kubernetes. So this is all about the YAML and in the demo section, we are going to discuss the rules and thumb rules for YAML file. So let me open the Visual Studio. Okay, now let's create a power using YAML file. And here I will give you some rules so you can create any YAML file for Kubernetes option. So right click, create a new and give the name pods yaml dot yaml. Now to create any Kubernetes object, you need four properties, API version, kind, metadata, and spec. So now the rule number one, add space after each colon and hyphen. Okay. So now this API version, then colon space v1 kind colon now here we are going to create a pod so type pod metadata colon spec colon now this is the first rule that add a space after each colon and hyphen now the second day rules do not use tab while creating the YAML file. Okay. So what do you mean by this? Let's take an example of this metadata. So now here you need to add the property called name. So enter and give a tab. So instead of tab, you have to use space bar. Okay. So one two then hyphen now remember the first rule add a space after each colon and hyphen so space name again colon space let's give a name my uh, nginx yaml okay okay now again in the spec one two okay and give the name container colon one two and give the name so here i am going to use a name my nginx yaml one two image 
my uh, sorry ng inx okay okay so now here the third rule is list or array start with hyphen and it will execute in order okay so now here you can see this metadata let me explain you what is list first so let's take an example <clears throat> let's take an example of technology so again yaml is nothing but a key value pad so let's take example technology so we have a uh, java let me copy paste python and node.js so here you can see the key is same but the value is different so you can represent this key value pair like this technology one two java python and node js so this is called a list okay so here we are having a list name my nginx image nginx give a ports and in the ports again we have a new property so one two container port okay the fourth concept is about a dictionary the dictionary is nothing but collection of keys some people told it's an object so both are same so let's take an example this metadata so here in the metadata we have a name and inside the name we have one more property called labels one two give a label name uh f for example front end second let's take example of uh, size in mid okay so here you can see inside the label so label is nothing but a dictionary or a collection of okay now the fourth rule or fifth rule is about a space so always follow two four six eight space rules so for example here in the metadata what we did one two then give the property whatever property you want to use after that if you consider this label so label is available in the fourth one two three four f five six okay let's say i want to define one more property uh, below the size so what i have to do one two three four five six seven eight and you need to define the property whatever the property you want to use okay so always follow the space rule 2468 to define the yaml file okay now let's copy this yaml file open the lens and create it okay so what is error uh, error validating the API version not set okay so here I need a small mistake it should be this so uh, then it's a dictionary right so it's it's mistake from my side 
so I have removed the hyphen here so here you can see uh, in the earlier file we uh, give the hyphen so just remove the hyphen okay and again space one two okay and now let's create it yeah now you can see the pod is successfully created so again now let's quickly put forward and here you can see welcome to nginx nginx server is successfully installed and working okay so now using this rule you can create a any yaml file to generate a kubernetes object thanks for watching see you in the next video